and Lara. We're off and running at Oaklawn Park. Tundi Sue is off slowly and drops to the back. Bella Ju has the most early lick. Hurricane Fire matches her with Baby Avery setting up shop right behind in the third position in a good stocking spot. A gap of two and a half to Barstool Babe and Alicia. Five more to Union Dame and slow starter Tundi Sue is the trailer down the back stretch where Bella Ju has cleared off comfortably and opens up two. Hurricane Fire in chase mode second. Baby Avery joins her into the far turn run. A gap of two to Alicia claims fourth. Barstool Babe already under pressure on the fence fifth and a gap of six to Union Dame at the back with Tundi Sue as they round the far turn. Bella Ju still on top. The margin's a length and a tail. Ramsey Zimmerman getting to work on Hurricane Fire. Now coming after that leader as they hit the quarter pole. Baby Avery has had enough. Alicia claims third at the top of the lane. Bella Ju still in control. Bella Ju opens up the lead to two once again. Hurricane Fire still trying but she's second. Alicia Alicia third, Barstool Babe coming on for a minor award, but as they come to the 16th pole, Bella Ju has given them the slip, and Bella Ju opens up the lead to three. Barstool Babe coming out of the crowd to take second, but Bella Ju's going to win. Bella Ju wins it comfortably. Barstool Babe was second, third home in the race, Hurricane Fire, and there was a photo for fourth. And uh, Laroff. Mo Enchanted gets the first call. Kava from the far outside, up fairly close, is going to take back in stock. Blue Embers there as they approach the clubhouse turn. Sky Raven, a little bit keen behind the speed, is going to tuck in right behind as they charge into the turn. Mo Enchanted, a clear lead for him early, opens up about a length on Blue Embers. Sky Raven, Melania T, and Sunny and 70 parked four wide on the course. That quartet, a length off that loose leader. Mo Enchanted approaching the backstretch run. Robina settles in midfield along with Honduras. Passion, Kava off the speed, third last ahead of Kashmir Baby, and Lady Wupig is the early trailer down the back stretch. Mo Enchanted setting the pace, three quarters of a length, Sunny and 70 right off running in second, Blue Ember the Gray on the heels of the leader down on the rail. Sky Raven retreats to fourth along with Melania T, then a line of three, Robina inside, Kashmir Baby getting closer between horses, Kava is right behind that trio, and Lady Wupig is still the trailer, now only eight lengths from first to last into the far turn mo enchanted is still on top went 23 and 4 for the quarter 48 and 4 for the half so just a steady tempo here mo enchanted the leader by about a half length sunny and 70 comes out of the crowd to take the second spot a gap of three now to blue ember needs to get going melania t not producing a bid she's about to be passed by cashmere baby who's getting underway on the outside she's moving at the top of the lane mo enchanted with the head lead on sunny and 70 trying second cashmere baby outside continues to launch with a big run and here she comes after Mo Enchanted Sunny and 70 not going to get it Blue Ember fourth on the inside taking third there's a 16th to go Cashmere Baby is swept past Mo Enchanted and will draw off to break the maiden Cashmere Baby a length and a half in front Mo Enchanted was second third home Blue Ember Three-way go for the fourth position there Lady Woopig was involved with Melania T and Sunny and 70 And uh, Laroff, uneventful start. Classic moment out there for the front. Fashion King is moving up to come and challenge. Here's congrats on 50 striding out. Congrats on 50 with a three-quarter length lead on classic moment running in second. Lundberg in the third position with Fashion King. Rocking Rocket attempting to stock the pace today. Power slammed down on the inside. The first half dozen separated by three lengths as Fashion King drops back to run with Power Slam. A big gap back to Funny Uncle at the back. Into the far turn. Congrats on 50. 
50 getting to the rail and opens up that lead to a length and a tail. Rocking Rocket and Chase Mode running in the second spot. Lundberg between horses. Classic moment down on the rail. Fashion King attempting to re-rally on the outside. Sent along by Ramon Vasquez is within range though. A gap of two and a half to Power Slam and Funny Uncle at the top of the lane. It's wide open. A lineup down the stretch. Rocking Rocket there battling. On the inside Classic Moments fighting. Lundberg has run a big one today. Fashion King begins to weaken. It's Lundberg in the middle of the course who has a head lead. Classic moment not done though. Classic moment Lundberg. Classic moment with the head lead once again. Lundberg back at him. Photo finish. Very, very tight. Classic moment Lundberg in a slugfest to the finish with Funny Uncle third and then Rocking Rocket. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oakland Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oakland Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Clipping heels right at the start was Guidon had to take up, and he drops to the back of the pack. Mischievous Max from the inside, sent for speed. He's got the lead and opens up two on Cadillac Cowboy, always a king side by side, a joint second. Chad Ron runs in fourth with a quate. Fly Herb, Fly High is there, and eight straight who's deeper on the course. Brahms Jr.'s next. He's in midfield, easing off a few runners to run within seven lengths of the lead, a gap of three to get away with it, along with Bourbon on fire. Five more to Berryville Bullet, and Guidon after the bad break is last as the dozen Arkansas breads round the far turn. Mischievous Max is the leader here by about two. Cadillac Cowboys still in chase mode running in second. Equate takes third. Chad Ron is under a steady retreat losing position. Eight straight being asked to pick it up. Claims the third position has three lengths to gain on Mischievous Max who comes off the turn with a two length lead. Eight straight continues to motor home and third behind them is Cadillac Cowboy. The rest are pretty much well out of it. Here comes eight straight and Alberto Puzak continuing that move and ran right past Mischievous Max. And eight straight starts to pull away. Cadillac Cowboy, Bourbon on fire coming on late for the second spot, but no doubt about the winner. Eight straight at six to one, who scores by three and a half. Bourbon on fire was second, third across the line. Cadillac Cowboy, Mischievous Max, the early leader was fourth.
And uh, Leroff, amazing gal, was off slowly from post three. Good beginning from Miss Distinctive, who sent out of there as a narrow lead and now clears off. Opens up about two on Mumblebee, who takes the second position into the turn. Never say no. Let's go third as they charge into that turn. Right trap alongside of that rival. What's Up Sweets is caught four wide, joined by West Side Girl on the inside. Amazing gal after breaking slowly with that party. So is Prittis in between horses. A gap of two to Beachgrass, second to last. And Kimple's strategy is the early trailer as they make their way up the back stretch now. Miss Distinctive's on top, shows the way by about a two-length margin. Now it's a length and a half. Mumblebee takes the second position from right trap. Never say no, let's go. In the fourth position, about two lengths off the pace on the rail. Prittis is next. On the outside, What's Up Sweets is alongside of that rival. Then comes Amazing Gal the Gray. She's seven behind with West Side Girl. Beachgrass still has one runner beat. That's Kimbrell's strategy as they approach the four-turn run here. Still the leader, Miss Distinctive into that turn. Leads by a length and three quarters. In the second spot, Mumblebees come under a ride. Right Trap about to join her. Prittis is underway on the inside. Searching for racing room is trying to get outside of a weakening Mumblebee with five sixteenths to go now. Coming back to the lead, Miss Distinctive still in front and is a length and a half in front as she swings off the turn. Beachgrass is trying to rally on. West Side Girls in with a good shot. And here comes West Side Girls to take the lead away from Miss Distinctive. Beachgrass is storming home down the outside. Miss Distinctive in front. Beachgrass going to lunge at her one last lunge for her. It's going to be pretty tight here. Here's the line. Miss, it is West Side Girl to win it. West Side Girl gives Harry Hernandez a double. Beachgrass was second home, and then Prittis and Miss Distinctive. And uh, Laroff from the inside, ship shortage going to the front. Show me the candy has speed. Adios muchachas sent hard to get out there as well. Even Tis Sweet Candy in that group. And oh my God, they sort themselves out. Tis Sweet Candy, oh my God, side by side. Adios muchachas eases off that contentious battle and runs in the third position. Two lengths ahead of Show Me the Candy. Risky Spirit is next. Charlotte's Way, Chip Shortage, and Cupid's Music. That trio stretched across the track. A joint second to last, and Thorn Crown can see them all into the far turn run 22 seconds flat the first quarter mile set by the top pair oh my god outside of tis sweet candy and they're right together around the turn a gap of two adios muchachas finds herself between horses in the third spot loses that position a risky spirit who's on the move on the outside show me the candy rides the rail off the turn charlotte's way next as they come down the lane on the inside show me the candy making a move to the front now show me the candy to the front risky spirit left behind in second. Show me the candy coming to the 16th. Pulls a length and a half lead. Risky Spirit trying hard second. Ship shortage third. It's show me the candy still in front. Show me the candy wins it for Keith Asmussen. Two wins for him today. Risky Spirit was second. Just got up over chip shortage. It was a photo for second but I think it might have gone to Risky Spirit there. Thorn Crown from the back got fourth. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Oaklawn Anywhere gives you access to past performances, live video, and expert race analysis with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700.
What are you doing here? Just here to remind you that Oakland Sports is a betting app that goes where you go. You're not strong enough to lift this. Maybe not, but I do have strong feelings about the over on Monday night. Now let's get it! Peekaboo. Hey, buddy. Good idea. Stay limber. You know what a real stretch is? Tigers covering the spread. And guess who's nailing it? This guy. Oakland Sports goes where you go. Bet with the best mobile sports app from the brand you trust. Bet with Oakland Sports. And uh, Leroff. Busy legs up on the pace. So is Test Pilot who's firing out there too. Cowboy Cabin in that mix of runners. Busy legs between horses with a short lead. Cowboy Cabin holds the inside spot. Test Pilot is third charging into the turn. A gap of two and a half lengths to turn on the magic. Canadian Pharaoh racing inside of him. Drew Power next in the field. And he's running six lengths off the lead in the white and blue. Another length to Great Hearth. Three more to the gray deep state with Ego. And that leaves Make Noise to trail the field as the 10 runners swing up the back stretch here. Cowboy Cabin is the leader by a neck. Busy Legs hounds him from the outside and they pull two lengths clear of Test Pilot in a good spot running in third stocking the top pair. Another two to Canadian Pharaoh. A similar margin to Great Heart Drew Power. They're side by side. Turn on the magic is three wide. Has lost a few spots running in midfield now. A gap of two to Deep State. Ego is dropped back. Make noise past them. Those two pretty much together at the back though with a half mile to go. Cowboy Cabin still on the lead. Busy legs right there with him. Test Pilot getting closer third. A length and a half off the leaders now and creeping in. Canadian Pharaohs come under a ride. Great Heart moves alongside of him. Drew Power plotting in place. Turn on the Magics backing in the wrong direction. Make noises next. Ego is trying to rally on but has a lot of work to do with a quarter mile more remaining. Cowboy Cabin gives way. Here's Test Pilot. Here's Great Heart on the outside. They're up to overpower. Busy Legs in the final three sixteenths. Busy Legs though is stubborn. Test pilot between horses. Great heart on the outside. Busy legs. Look at that. He's rebroken and he just went on again. Look at busy legs with a determined win today. And busy legs and Joe Belmer win it by about two. Great heart hung badly in second. Canadian Pharaoh was third and test pilot was fourth. And uh, Leroff getting squeezed at the break was what a country dropped back quite a few spots. Tama Tado sent out of there by Manny Esquivel. Dan Samo and Walter De La Cruz on the engine as well. Those two one two setting a contentious pace into the clubhouse turn. Bandera Azteca running in the third position. A gap of two to a line of four. Big papers inside of Mystery Mo, a three deep efficiency and deeper is Royal Act. Leader of men got shuffled back into the clubhouse turn. Had to steady and he's now running in the third last position. Four ahead of fight and ready. The trailer is what a country as they approach the backstretch run. Strung out group, Tomatudo setting the pace and went 23-1 and one to get that lead in the first quarter mile. Tomatudo in front three quarters of a leg. Bandera Azteca now in second. Dan Samo taken back to third. He's in a pocket being joined on the outside by Royal Act down the backstretch. He's advanced quite a few spots to claim third and he's up to challenge those leaders with a half mile to go. Dan Samo back and forth with efficiency. Another two to Mystery Mo, leader of men. They're next. They're two better than Big Paper Scrum the pawn, fighting ready, still second to last. What a country, not his day today as they round the far turn. Bandera Azteca between horses. Tamad Tado inside. Royal Act is three wide, and those three are stretched across the track. Efficiency and leader of men. They're moving as a pair, and Mystery Mo's getting into the race as well. Big papers swinging deep as they pack up, turning for home. The early leader's getting tired now. Outside leader of men has the lead. Leader of men kicks on to a two-length advantage. Big Big Paper on the outside, grinding away. Here he comes. Mystery Mo right behind, chasing. Big Paper on the outside to the front. Leader of men, second. Efficiency, third. Dance Samo next. Big Paper drifting to the center of the track, but he's going to win it. Big Paper, Rafael Bejarano. Dance Samo was second. Third leader of men, efficiency, fourth across the line.
The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Backyard money on the far outside. Stellar Lily gets into the race, too. Stellar Lily has the lead, and backyard money takes a hold. Second, Lover Girl third. Free like a girl down on the inside into the turn. Jubella has to tap off of heels. Margo in a bubble bath alongside of her. Into Disco at the back early with Bodra. Around the clubhouse turn, they run. Stellar Lily, Rafael Bejarano getting her settled down here and leads narrowly. But here comes Joke Cece, very aggressive. And Joke Cece is up to challenge that front runner. And Joke Cece's on top, striding out and opens up that lead to a length and a half. Bejarano cranks down Stellar Lily in second. Backyard money to the outside of her. Those two stock in the pace and an unexpected leader here off the layoff. She's fresh. She's Joke Cece and she's paving the way. We come back to free like a girl. Lover girl between horses. Margo in a bubble bath is three wide and a length and a half to the next trio. They line up. Bodra, Jubella and into Disco. Into the far turn. A compact group. Six lengths from tip to tail into that turn. Joke Cece is the leader. Back Backyard Money hounding her from the outside, taking second. Stellar Lily has come off the bridle in an all-out drive right now. Free like a girl wedges herself between horses. Margo in a bubble bath, three deep. And then into Disco trying to roll from last. Gets to the extreme outside for the stretch drive. This race will end at the 16th pole. Backyard Money has corralled. Joke Cece and kicks on. Free like a girl, though. She's coming on now into the second position. Stellar Lily re-rallying into third. 16th to go. Backyard money free like a girl trying to tag her free like a girl all race horse free like a girl got it over backyard money stellar lillian into disco And uh, Laroff in the nightcap. Usually wrong, sent out of there to get to the front as a narrow lead early on a hailstorm who takes the second spot, but now usually wrong clears off. Usually wrong the leader here by a touch more than a length. Happy Gray takes second with victory dash and coach Jimmy D inside of that pair. Major Mac in the fifth position. He's running four lengths off the pace, a length and a half to Jester Sang. Hailstorm's already backing away, passed by Flashy Fast on the outside within seven lengths of the lead into the turn. Mo running third last, straight rush second to last, and Villain is the early 
trailer as they round the far turn. Usually wrong. First out for the Diodoro Barn. Leads the way by three quarters of a length. Now it's a half. Happy Gray chasing second. Coach Jimmy D gets outside into the three path as Victory Dash has called it a day. Jester Sang is making up ground. He's three behind scrubbed upon, but is moving at the top of the lane. Usually wrong off the turn. Coach Jimmy D with a big effort today. Coach Jimmy D usually wrong side by side. Coach Jimmy D has the head lead. Usually wrong coming right back. Usually wrong. Coach Jimmy D usually wrong on the inside. Coach Jimmy D drifts to the outside and usually wrong's going to get it. Harry Hernandez with a hat trick. Usually wrong over Coach Jimmy D. Then Mo Running who came on for third. Flashy fast was fourth. And